And good evening, everybody, and welcome to let's see to Caps Gym here in. Camp, in uh, <laughs> oh my God, Swim in Swim Washington. The Burlington Nets come in tonight, Nate. Boy, they need a big victory tonight over the the Squim Wolves as they uh, beat them earlier in the year. But the Squim Wolves have also knocked off Olympic in King in Kingston and set in the fourth playoff spot. Here we go. We are underway. Squim Wolves in their white jerseys, blue lettering. Jack Thompson definitely underneath. Backing in is Keenan Green. He goes up and scores. Two nothing. The Wolves on top. Wilmer, Tucker back in the lineup today. David Clegg is in the lineup. Kendingo. And Oliver Christian is starting five for the Brewer tonight. It's a long three by Tucker. He can't get that one to drop. Yeah, good shot, Phil. Goals put you back the other way. Lighting it around. And scoring for Squim is Vincent Carrizo. Four nothing. Bulls on top here early against the Bremen tonight. Boy, a good home looking for the wall. And Dingo drives across the perimeter, hands off to David Cleggis. Gets to a stop there, hands off to Bomer if he comes off the pick. Straight away now, and up to Gedingo near elbow. Back out on top to Bomer, he'll try a three, air ball. And he goes out of play, and the Wolves will maintain possession one more time. On the audio in, some uh, technical difficulties to start off with. Here's a put back up and in by Squim off the mess. And Isaiah Moore scores off the off offensive end for the Squim Wolves, making it 6 0 Wolves here in the first quarter of play. Going against Kendang, he has a shot blocked. Blocked out of there by, by Moore. Back on top for a long three for Tucker who drills the shot. 6-3 is your score as the Knights cut back in that lead in half. Charlie Greider comes back and scores there. Tucker straight away now, 8-3 Wolves. Five point bolt here early, Clay comes off the pick from Christian. Hands off to Candingo. Takes right, goes left, gets off to Candingo. Craig in the corner, now they'll work the ball around up to Tucker on the far side. Nice work from right to our left. And Dangle eyes a three, he looks good, and is uh, high off the air, off the rim. Pulled down on the play by the Wolves by Charlie Greider, the 6'3 sophomore, who drives in, skids will stop the free throw line. Looked up with underneath, up faking and going up with the shot is Keenan Green, missing the shot, and the rebound pulled down by Green. He'll get up in the corner for three, air ball. Rebound pulled in on the opposite end by Greider. Over him is Bomer. Here is Carrizo going in, and he is fouled on the play. Foul on number 23, block Oliver Christian, first personal first team. Oliver Christian was for the foul for the Bermondsey Knights. His first. Here's Isaiah Moore. And he goes up with the shot, he is fouled on the play. His second on, on number 23, Oliver Christian. On Oliver Christian. Personal, Here foul. early. Two shots, Eight three. Wolves on top. And here's Zach Thompson for a free a pair of free throws for the Wolves. And the first run is good. Zach Thompson. First one is good. First points of the night for Thompson, the 6 1 senior for the Wolves. And he wide the second, he'll drill them both. And a 30-second timeout called on the play. We'll keep it right here. Tonight trailing at 10 to 3 here early. Kingsley Hendrickson, Allison Larson, Naomi Moon, and Mimi Mora. Packed house here at Caps Gym. Coached by the incredible Risa Sumina. And head coach for the Squim Wolves, Craig Brooks. Who was also their athletic director, Craig Brook. Here's a long shot. In and out, no good by Sam Tucker. Pulled down the rebound is Isaiah Moore. We'll dump it back underneath on the near post to, to Greider. We'll get it back on top to Thompson. They catch the green. Cross board pass to Carrizo for a long shot. Front rim, no good. Swing up high is Christian to pull down the rebound for the Bremerton Knights. Hands off to Sam Tucker about 
Long pass down to Bomer and running into him for Squim is, is Keenan Green. He'll pick up his first foul on the of the evening. Done shooting foul. First personal, first team. First team foul on the Squim Wolves. Bomer with it out on top. David Kliga. The Tucker. Swings it to Candango on the baseline, drives in, going up with a reverse lane off the market. Good defense on him by Isaiah Moore. Here's Boomer pulling up from 16 feet, goes 15, and there's Candango to, to get the off with the rebound and stick it in for the Bremerton Knights. Just first two points of the evening. Knights trail at 10 to 5. And try to get it down underneath. Squim to Charlie Greider, and he throws it out of bounds. Well, we, we were also wondering why uh, Sellers and Tucker haven't played the last two games either. His shot, but there's Bomer to clean up the mess for the Bremerton Knights. His first two points of the evening for Bomer. We're just having all sorts of audio problems over here for some stupid reason. Here's a dump pass underneath. Isaiah Moore scores for the Swim Wolves. His fourth point of the evening. Clegge, David Clegge for the Bremen tonight's with it. Working out the pick is Tucker, going one dribble in the paint, Mr. John, and pulling down the rebound is Zach Thompson for the Wolves. Coming to front court, 12 7. Here's your score. Wolves on top. Here's Carrizo with it, dumps it on the baseline, drive again, going up and whacked on the play with Isaiah Moore, the 6 3 senior. Foul number 23, third personal, 13. That foul will go against the River Knights on Christian. That will be his third personal here early, Jim, here in the first quarter of play. And the free throw, a line drive free throw. Goes through by Isaiah Moore, his fifth point of the evening. In for the Squim Wolves. That's been Judd. Oh, he's ESPN, baby. Yeah. That's been Judd. We've got the listening on the uh, public just announcer to nail down his name. 13-7 is your score. The Wolves on top here early in the first quarter of play. 2.55 to go in the first quarter of play. The, first, the next free throw is good. Six points for Isaiah Moore. And for Squim, number 44, Cole Simpson. Beach will come in the front court. Well defended on the play by Judd. Flying in with a shot is Pete's misses the shot back iron. Here comes the Wolves on the run. Judd almost wants it the basketball to defense Bomer. Cross score pass near side to Green. New Iowa and fly went too far, but there is the rebound put back up and short. And I will have to deal down number 44 as well. A whole bunch of uh, that might be Cole Smith and we'll have to wait and see. Driving in is Tucker. He gets to the left hand, leading the call through, and he is fouled on the play. Yeah, Coach Smithson won 44 opposed to 54 tonight. Sam Tucker will try to knock down the free throw when he does. 14 to 9. Knights have crept back within four. 14 to 10 here in the first quarter. Long pass far side to Judd. Brooks walked around to Thompson up on top, swings the near side to Green. Knights, zone defense. Here's Smithson, takes one step, left hand fling out to Mark, no good. Can't get his own rebound, safe from going out of bounds by Pete. Gets it in to Candingo, and there's a jump up on the play, tying him up as Thompson. 
And the Bremerton Nats will get the possession arrow pointing their way. Here with us, just under two minutes to go here in the, the first quarter. Peach, that's the right dribble. And John on him, far side for Tucker for three. Twirls in and out, no good, tapped out by Bomer. Gets out to Peach, swings at the Candango for three. Can't get that one to fall. Smith will leap up in the air and get that rebound. Now that pass to Green. Get that far side to floor. Steps underneath the Smith and deflected by Peach. Going away by the nice Candango. On the run. Weaving through traffic. The Tucker for three from the near corners. Too strong. Green will yank down the rebound. They should go backward pressure from Tucker. Smith said. Serves it out to Judd for three. Leaves it short. Lowe pulls down the rebound. Or uh, Lovestead pulls down the rebound for the Bermonton Knights. Tucker for getting for three. And he hits. The ripple to triple for Tucker. Nine points for, for Tucker here in the first quarter. Literally doing all the scoring for the Bremerton Knights. Up picking at the free throw line was Moat. Bill Smithson gets the, the bucket for it. That's time for the Wolves. This thing in the stands gig is a hard thing to deal with at time. 16-13, however, goes by three. He switch off the screen. He's underneath the low stand, goes up, leaves it short as he hits the rim and then, and then the glass. Thompson with the rebound. Three, the two, the one. The Smithson goes up all in one motion. Can't get the one to fall. We are through three, 16-13. The Knights on trailing these good here in the first quarter. 